Good morning, this is Rusty McPeters. We're going to open in prayer today. Continue to remember Vicki, Melissa, Judy, Chloe, Phyllis and her daughter, Denise Dickinson, Dell Haskins, Audrey Pullen, Ginger Bumgardner, Tim and Rita Spargo, Ashley, Jennifer and Timothy Shepard, Richard McQuay, and Shauna and her sister. And continue to remember our family and friends for salvation and continue to pray for the country. We're going to open prayer this morning and pray that God will move. And, and uh, if uh, anyone out there has been healed, uh, give us a call. Uh, let us know what, what God's doing and what's going on. And uh, we're going to God at this moment in prayer that you would move God in a mighty way. God, I pray that you would just minister to the sick. God, that you would begin to move in a mighty way. And I pray, God, that if they want out there unsaved, I pray, God, somehow you touch their heart, that you'd open their mind, that they'll see the need that they have for you. And we pray, in God, that you would move this and, and minister and touch the ones, God, that we've been praying for. And we got a, and I heard a good report a few minutes ago that God uh, healed uh, Wayne's daughter. That amen. God move and give her a miracle. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 I just want to say what a blessing this ministry has been to me. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you've been blessed by this ministry, I'm sure that uh, they appreciate maybe a little love offering or donation to continue the ministry I was uh, I was yesterday uh, at a store where I had me and my husband and went several for, for a long time to go out and eat and I was doing my angel friends CDs and the man said well there's I quit doing that a long time ago he said cause there's not enough money changing hands and I said it's not about money it's about using the money to get the message out Amen. and that's what this ministry does and Amen. if you'd like to to help them out a little bit just send a donation you know, we're living in some unrestful times with politics and everything, so just listen to the words of this first song. Yes. It's called God's Unchanging Hand. That's one thing it don't change is God. Amen.
God for the movement of spirit. It seems that the enemy is fighting today, but great is he that's in you and him Amen. that's in the world. Glory to God. I thank God for an opportunity to even know that yes, I, and that God opened my eyes one day Amen. and Amen. showed me the need that I have had. Yes. Yes. And nobody could fill that need but him. Yep. Uh, we have a special preacher with us this morning, uh, Brandon Gosnell. Man. Come on up, give us the word. This is Pastor Brandon Gosnell. Once again, from Bessemer City, North Carolina, I have a word this morning. In John chapter 11, beginning with verse 44, it says, And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said unto him, Loose him, and let him go. He was talking about Lazarus in verse 43, and it goes back up a little bit. It says, And when thus has spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. My message is entitled, Not only is it a good thing, it's a God thing. It's a good, not only was it a good thing that he raised Lazarus from the dead, uh, but it's also a God thing because he can raise you out of your situation. He can raise you out of your dead sleep. Uh, no matter what you're going through, uh, he can move that mountain out of the way for you this morning. Uh, you see, Martha told Jesus, My brother's been dead for four days. Uh, and Jesus told him, uh, uh, He's been asleep. Uh, right. Let me tell you something. Uh, when you're going through your battle, uh, when you're going through your situation, know that your redemption draweth to nigh because Amen. Jesus uh, is near to the ones that are brokenhearted. Uh, Jesus is near to the ones that are in desperate need. Uh, I come by to tell you, if you're listening by radio or by the internet, that Jesus will make a way for you uh, when there is no way. Uh, in the middle of your circumstance, uh, in the middle of your trial, in the middle of your mishaps, let me tell you something today. Not only is it a good thing that God can do it for you, but it's a God thing. Because in 2,000 years ago, at Calvary, Jesus died so that you can have everlasting life and so that you can wake up every morning and have a fresh new day, have fresh breath in your body. Let me tell you something. When Daniel was in the lion's den, he was in there with all the lions, but you see God, uh, he shut the mouth of the lions uh, because Amen. he had Amen. favor uh, God. with God. Uh, and not only was it a good thing, uh, but it was a God thing Amen. this morning. Amen. My God, hallelujah. Woo, he can do what you can't do this morning. In Matthew chapter 7, beginning with verse 7, it says, Judge... No man, judge not that ye be judged, for with judgments ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with the measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And on down, what I'm trying to say is, uh, in verse 7, that was verse verse 2, but verse 7 says, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find and knock, and, the, and it shall be opened unto you. Uh, right. So he can do what you can't dis Amen. do this morning. Uh, if you sit there and knock at heaven's door, uh, he'll open it for you. Uh, if you ask, uh, he'll give it to you. Uh, and if you believe that whatever you've asked for, that it's already been done, uh, the Bible says you'll receive it this morning. Uh, and I come by to tell you, if you may be going down the road driving this morning, uh, let me tell you something glory to God. Uh, no matter uh, what type of day uh, that you had in the past week, uh, God will turn it around for you. Uh, let me tell you something, what the devil uh, and what the enemy meant for evil, uh, God said he'll turn it around for you. Uh, so whatever you can't do this morning, uh, God can do for you. Uh, my God, I don't know who I'm speaking to. Uh, but my God, uh, you may say, well, my marriage is on the road. Uh, this morning, uh, but let me tell you something. God can turn it around. Uh, God can fix it for you. Uh, what you can't do this morning, God can. Hallelujah. You may say, well, I've been dealing with stress all week. 
I've been dealing with thoughts all week. I've been dealing with this certain neighbor. I've been dealing with this enemy. Well, let me tell you something this morning. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and 7, If you'll cast all your cares upon me, because I care for you. No matter what it is, he can't turn it around for you this morning. What you can't do this morning, God can. He called. The angel, of the, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Moses in a flame that was burning at the bush. And Moses turned aside and seen why the bush was not yet consumed. And he said, and then, and then the Lord cried out and said, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here am I. And he said, take off the shoes where you stand on his holy ground. Amen. Let me tell you something. He's calling out to someone this morning. He's calling out to you this morning uh, with his arms open wide. Yes, uh, if we'll just stretch forth their hands uh, and meet them halfway this morning uh, and receive what he has for us, uh, yes. he'll make that way for us. Uh, John 3 and 17, it says, For God uh, sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but through the world that he might be saved. Yes. There's salvation for, any, for all of us this morning. For any, uh, any of you that are listening right now, there is salvation. You may be uh, battling uh, some kind of depression. Uh, you may be battling some kind of fear. Uh, well, let me tell you something this morning. Uh, what you can't do about it, God can do about it. Hallelujah. Yes, Number two this morning, what you can what you can't fix, God can. Yes, he can. Hallelujah. Proverbs three and five. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. Right. Whenever you're going through a situation that seems like it's so hard that you can't even make a way of escape on your own. God can fix it this morning. Amen. He can fix your broken heart. He can fix your troubled mind. Uh, he can fix whatever that problem is you're facing this morning because He is the Elohim. Uh, he is the great yeah. I Am. Uh, he is the bright and morning star. Uh, he is the rose of Sharon. Uh, he is uh, the father of Isaac, uh, fa the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob this yeah. morning. Uh, he can fix what you can't fix this morning. Yeah. Yeah. You may say to yourself, well... I've been battling all these demons that's been coming against me. I've been battling all these things. And I feel like throwing in, uh, the throwing up the towel and giving in. Uh, well, I come by to tell you today uh, what you uh, may think uh, that you can't fix. Uh, God will fix it for you. Uh, he'll give you peace unspeakable. He'll give you joy like yeah. never before. Uh, if you don't love someone like you used to, he'll get that love back in your heart. Uh, and my God, what happened uh, to the first love uh, we used to have with Jesus? Yes. Glory to God. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. We may not be able to fix this election, but God can. Uh, let me tell you something. We might not be able uh, to do uh, the things we think we can do without God's help. Uh, but in the middle of our trials, uh, in the middle of those circumstances, uh, God steps in on the scene uh, and he takes care of his children. Glory yes, to God. Because what you can fix, he can this morning. That's right. You may say, there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot happening lately. I just don't know which way to go. I don't know where to turn. Let me tell you something. Job woke up in the middle of the morning and cursed his day before it even got started. But yet, he still called out on Jesus. So whatever that problem is this morning... Remember, God will fix it for you. God will change it for you. God will turn it around. He'll do it for you. By God, what he done for uh, Peter, he'll do for us. Uh, and we may not be able to walk out on water this morning, uh, but by faith we can say, I'm coming, I'm coming through. Uh, I'm going through. Uh, by faith we're going to make it. Uh, you can yeah. say, by faith I'm going to get to the next level with God. Uh, by faith uh, I'm going to be able uh, to change my life around. Yeah. Uh, by faith, uh, I'm going to get to that place.
the vase Amen. where all I want to do is worship God. Yeah. All I want to do is seek after his face. We've got to get to that place this morning. By faith, I'm coming out of my situation. By Amen. faith, I'm coming out of my mess. By Amen. faith, I'm going to do what i got to do to make right. it glory to God. Amen. Good preaching. People, Amen. I'm always hearing about this ISIS thing. Well, let me tell you something. I want to bring it up again. It almost shut Talamahaya. You see, but by faith, they accepted their heads to be cut off for the simple fact it's because they're Christians. And as Christians, we stand up for what is right. And no matter what happens, no matter what it is, we're still going to make a stand for God. And by faith alone, God will supply our needs glory to God Amen. what you can't do this morning God can what you fix this morning what you can't fix God can fix Amen. number three what you can't heal this morning God can in Isaiah 53 and 5 it says but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities and chastisement of our peace and was upon him. And with his stripes we were healed. Amen. Amen. That means if you're sick in your body this morning, you ain't got to wait till Sunday. Right. All you got to do is lay hands on yourself and rebuke that sickness because Amen. it says in his word, by my stripes ye are healed. Glory Amen. to God. Yeah. I'm starting to feel something Amen. in this place. Amen. My God, because no matter what kind of sickness it is, God will heal you from it. Amen. You may have diseases. Uh, you may have some kind of kidney problem. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, my sister, when she was uh, just about 14 years old, was diagnosed with kidney disease. Uh, well, what about but two years later, with all the fasting and with all the praying, glory to God, God stepped in on the scene. And what we couldn't fix, what the doctors couldn't fix, Jesus fixed it. And he healed her, glory to God. Because of his stripes and because of her faith, she was healed, glory to God. What you can't heal this morning, God can. You see the woman with the issue of blood? I like this, this passage because she was dealing with something for 12 years. And the doctors could not heal her. The doctors said there's no hope. But one day she said, as long as I press forth through the crowd to get to his garment, I shall be made whole. And you see, when she done that, she was healed immediately. Let me tell you something this morning. You may be getting ready to go through something or some kind of surgery or whatever the situation may be. And you may say to yourself, I don't have much long to live or I don't think I can be healed of this. Well, if you truly believe in God this morning, God will heal you. Amen. He can heal you from anything. And not only can he heal you, he can heal your brokenness. Once again, you may feel like there's no hope, but he can heal you this morning. Number four this morning in closing, Psalms 46 and 10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. And I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth. This morning I come by to tell you, be still and know that he is God. Yes. And that whatever you can't do once more this morning, he can do for you. Yes, Don't give up in these last days that we're living. Because he is God. Yes. Don't worry about ISIS. Don't worry about the president. Don't worry about the worldly stuff. Because Jesus is in control this morning. Right. And this is Pastor Brandon Gosden. I just want to say quickly, thank you for listening this morning. I just had to say what I had to say that was on my heart from the Lord. But at this moment, real fast, I just want to 
pray, Father, we ask that you'll heal your people this morning. Yes, Lord, God. touch your people Amen. this morning and to deliver them and set them free. Uh, and I pray, Father, whatever they may be bound by this morning, that you'll loose them uh, from all yes, their God. transgressions uh, and all their iniquities because the Bible says uh, that you took all of that for us uh, at Calvary, Lord. So right now, touch your people this morning and heal them and deliver them. And Lord, set them free and save yes, their soul God. if they're lost this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Trina. Amen, brother. I got a real blessing out of what you're saying. We were talking about that before you come in, you know. Sometimes we pray and we ask God for things, and we don't realize God's going to answer in His way. That's right. My husband, I prayed for healing for my husband, and in September he passed away. But God he, God answered my prayer. He healed him permanently yeah. forever. Yeah. And I got a real blessing out of that. Just listen to the words of this song. Amen. It's called Look For Me. Oh, yeah. An old song. Glory to God. Solemnly swear, saying, God, I got a real place now. Yeah. Oh, there I 
field this morning uh, as the brother was preaching, God began to speak to my heart. Uh, some maybe it's fought the devil so hard and so got so weak. Uh, but it's not based on your weakness. It's based on your faith. Yes. If you got faith in Jesus Christ this morning, you may not be able to speak but, uh, above a whisper, but faith, just use every bit of your faith this morning. Yes. And I felt he was preaching to someone as it's, it's really been in a fight. And it got worse and worse for him. But I'm here to tell you this morning that, again, I can say it's based on your faith in God and what he'd done at Calvary for yes. you. I've been to the point, uh, even that God showed me visions where I was tacted by the enemy, and I didn't have enough breath to say, Jesus, <clears throat> Jesus would have whispered. But God moved on me, and the power of the enemy was drove back. Uh, is that again? We think we we gotta have great faith and, and a great move of God. I've been healed in mighty ways and don't even feel the God way I wanted to. But God would speak and say, "Tell them what I done." And by the time I spoke, that I felt God after I confessed what He told me to say. So I, I know that God is going to hear you, but you got to know it. Yes. There's yes. things that God cannot do. You can fail, but God cannot fail. Amen. That's right. And God cannot lie. He'll never have to apologize as a man would. There's things uh, God cannot do. And that's one of them. He can't make a mistake. Uh, and God never takes no one home by accident. Nobody leaves this world. So you may be grieving over a wife, a husband, a child, but God knows when to take them home. And God knows how to talk to that person, how to get to them. Uh, there are going to be people in heaven, you wonder how they got there. But with the last breath, they said, Jesus. Jesus said, I, I feel the Spirit of God in this. Jesus said, call on my name. Yes. And I'll be there, snap of a finger. Yes. God will be there. As a thief on the cross, all he said was, Remember me yes. when you enter into paradise. Yes. God is reaching out this morning. I can feel the presence of God. And I, I take this faith that I feel. I bind the devil off yes. to that sickness. Off you, I'm in agreement with you. Yes. If there's two people touching any one thing in my name, I shall do it. And I'm in agreement this morning. Yes. I bind the devil. I bind that sickness. And Jesus said, if you're binding on earth, I bind it in heaven. Yeah. I'm fanatical about that scripture. And greater is he that said you yes. than him in the world. Yes. He's greater than your pain, your heartache, and your sickness this yes. morning. I thank God for the preaching for him. Tell me about obeying God and giving that word to you. I'm encouraging you. You may not feel God in this moment, but take it by faith. Take God at yes. his word. Take him at his word this morning. We can do all things, all things Christ to him who strengthens yes. us. And I feel everybody in this room want to see you get healed Glory if you're saved. If you unsaved, you want to see you saved. Yes. And the one that's nearest to hell this morning needs to be saved. Yes. We promise that today, this moment, tomorrow we may be gone. I urge you to reach out and use every drop of your faith. And, and then you know you're so sick. I've been there. You, you, don't, you feel that you ain't got a drop of faith. But it's based on his mercy. Yes. Oh, when I had no faith, when I, I figured I, I, I was dying, God's grace and mercy kicked in and bought me off my deathbed. Yes. Thank God. Yes. Prayers you prayed a week ago, uh, you think you forgot about them, but God hadn't. God is moving this morning. And if anybody Lord got God. anything to say, 
Uh, I don't know how much time we got, but speak up. You've been listening to Evangelist James McPeters here on your Carolina Christian Connection in Belmont, AM 1270 WCGC. We want to thank you for tuning in to the broadcast this morning. And if you would like to get in contact with Evangelist James McPeters, you can call him at 704-879-4133. That's 704-879-4133. Or write Evangelist James McPeters at 184 P.O. Box 184, Cramerton, North Carolina, 28032. That's P.O. Box 184, Cramerton, North Carolina, 28032. Three two. Thank you for tuning in to the Evangelic Mister Ministry of Evangelist James McPeters here on twelve seventy AM WCGC, your Carolina Christian Connection in Belmont. Also streaming online at www.wcgcam.com.